part of the attraction and, and the interesting element of spray painting is that immediate effect. It dries quickly, the results are, are more or less right there. What I'm going for is this sort of energetic spontaneity. I have a basic idea of what I want to do, but truth be told, I, I don't know what will happen. I got to start working, I'm working with some colors. It's sort of like, okay, let's compose, let's find a balance. You know, so what I'm doing with colors and space and they're doing, you know, in, in a similar fashion with the different ingredients that they're using. Their process is about aging, refining, maturing. Mine is the exact same thing, but in a micro, in like a micro moment. Painting is very emotional for me, and so I have a completely different feeling about that. And I won't give that to anyone, but I am giving you guys a little bit more. I will, I will be honest. But it's not like a phoniness. It's just that you give me such happiness because you brought me back to a country that has always kind of embraced me and that I married into the culture. I feel like I've come home almost, and you've invited me back home, or you've been so kind to me to, to invite me to your home. As a creator, yeah, I see a lot of similarities and I could actually learn not how to do it better, but you know, how to refine my thought moving forward. Every day, every day, jour, oui. every day you're tasting. You must, if you, because we have to select uh, all the samples to make the quality, NSC quality, the future of NSC. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to mature in uh, oak cask and make the selection and uh, we have to, to blend after, all to, to always make the same quality in the bottle. Welcome to this uh, testing session. Today, you'll be the master blenders. You'll be creating cognac. If you want to describe what you are tasting, you will very often use the four main families of aroma, all the elements that can be linked to uh, the grape itself, so we will talk about fruity and floral notes, and the two other families, what you can uh, link to the aging process, so all the spicy character and everything that can be linked to, to woody notes. When creating a blend, it's very similar to uh, creating a, a piece of art. It's like, uh, it's like a painting. You need all the different colors that are the different eau de vie for us, and then you need the, the right master blender, the right artist that can make them play together. So the result will be the masterpiece. At the end of it, the process, my process, their process, it's really in the eye or in the mouth of the taster, the beholder. It's very subjective as to what they see and how they feel about it. I just want to keep exploring new creative avenues that I enjoy, and I hope the public will follow me. It was great coming here and, and getting an opportunity to participate with the young artist at home, and that moment where we got a chance to bring in another young artist, that seemingly went really well. I thought he personally realized exactly what he sort of proposed he would do, and you know, technically it was very well done. I'm thinking like all of this element is uh, yarn, okay? And then any other bits we're gonna incorporate, I will add my little touch or a suggestion or, I'm, I'm here to assist you. Sounds crazy, right? But I'm, <laughs> I'm actually your assistant on this project.
there's really beauty in the color of Konya. You know, it's just like a very beautiful color. It's, you know, it's rich, it's, it's deep, it's whoa. I don't want to put something on top of that that's going to be at, in a conflict with that. I wanted my artwork to somewhat complement the bottle. It has to be somewhat in the same feeling, the temperature. It has to be a warmth to it. It's a bit like artwork on a bottle of art, you know, like, because what they're doing is also art. They didn't really know how complex and how vast, you know, the mixing process is. And it's almost surreal imagining you're drinking something that's that sort of old. It's like you have to almost celebrate the dead. It, it seems you can almost touch the uh, humanity in the process, you know, which once again, you know, something I didn't quite realize, but I, I really appreciate. <laughs> Keep moving forward, keep painting, keep developing, and what didn't work then will ultimately work in the future. It's not like I'm not satisfied or I'm, or I'm happy. I am, but I want to always do better. As that kid who used to write Futura on things, it's unbelievable that to think 40 years later, you know, 